patterns test the accuracy of a rider's aids and also the horse's ability to move straight, to bend their body both directions, and to be able to um, keep an even rhythm and a cadence in their gait. Patterns can also help to identify weak areas for both the horse and the rider so that they know what to work on and to help improve those weak areas. You're watching the weekly video show here today and I'd like to go over three of the most common patterns. We're going to talk about a circle, we're going to talk about a serpentine, and also riding the quarter lines and why these exercises are so beneficial. And then at the end I'll tell you even a little bit more about how I use patterns in my own training and especially when I'm teaching riders so that they can use them to really get the most benefit for the rider skills and also for their horse. And I have a resource to help you with that and to give you ideas for lots of exercises as well. The first pattern that we're gonna cover is just a simple 20 meter circle. So of course, how a 20 meter circle is going to fit in your arena depends on the size of the arena. But if you wanna practice riding this exact size, which can be beneficial because it's, it's a um, 20 meters is a, size circle that honestly feels smaller when you start riding it than it usually looks when you're just looking at the pattern. And it's easy when we're riding circles in an arena to end up just kind of following the wall through part of the circle and sometimes ending up with a lopsided circle or with one that's actually quite a bit bigger than 20 meters. So a tip you can use is to measure off 20 meters and to actually put a little marker in four spots. And then think of these as kind of the um, places that you want to touch as you go around your circle. Now we'll see how evenly I even drew my little markers. So as you go through, as you ride the, the 20 meter circle, think about coming through and just like going right to the outside if you've got cones placed, creating your circle. Now you can see even drawing it here, mine got a little bit lopsided. But as you ride a 20 meter circle, the benefit of um, this exercise is to work on bending. So of course you ride both directions. You can feel if one direction is easier or more difficult for your horse. And you can think about keeping your horse's body. Imagine if, there, if you could see the track of the circle extending out in front of you and you wanted to keep your horse on that amount of bend. So you don't want the horse overbent that he's got his, his neck and his um, head too far in towards the inside of the circle. And you also don't want him counterbent that he's looking out to the outside of the circle. You want to imagine if the arc of your horse's body was able to just follow the arc of the circle. So this is a 20 meter circle. It also really develops the rider's aids for um, feeling and maintaining consistent rhythm from the horse as you go around the pattern. It can be really good for helping to uh, relax a horse that is starting to get forward. You can start to get your rhythm back by just returning to a circle, riding the circle, guiding them um, into the circle instead of just trying to pull the horse up to slow down. The rider also has to adjust for this bending that we talked about. So it teaches them to stay organized with their reins, to be thinking forward and to make those little adjustments of Close the outside rein if the horse starts to drift in, or maybe lift the inside rein slightly if they start to lose the inside bending. The other pattern that I want to show you is the serpentine. So in a serpentine pattern, we're going to make several loops across the arena. So if we start here, we track along, come in, and you want your loops to be relatively even as you come around. And then you can continue this pattern by following this side, coming up, and then continuing back the other way. So you can keep this serpentine pattern going as long as you like. You can also adjust the amount of loops that are in here. The more that you start to add loops, basically the more times that you cross the center of the arena, then your turns start to get a little bit more tight 
and you have less of a um, straighter stretch to prepare for the next one. The benefit of a serpentine is that unlike the circle, you're actually going from moving in a straight line to moving into a bend to do your turn, moving straight, moving into a bend. And you're going, um, you're changing bend several times. So it really helps with from going straight to having bend, to go through a turn, coming back to straight, changing the rein into the next bend. So that's the benefit of the serpentine. And then we also have our quarter lines. So to think about the quarter lines of your arena, imagine what the center line is. So let's say that's our center line running here. And then if we mark the spots between the center line and the end of the arena or your riding space, you don't have to have an arena to do these patterns. You can do them out in an open field and just you know, be aware of kind of where your space is, maybe set out some cones or overturned buckets that can be your markers. So then in the quarter lines, what we're gonna do is you're gonna ride the arena following the quarter line. So instead of being out here on the track, you're gonna ride in here and you're gonna come straight down your quarter line here and then straight up the next quarter line. And you can repeat that pattern and of course go both directions as well. So the benefit of the quarter lines is it focuses on keeping the horse straight without following the rail. Let's face it, it can be really easy when we ride it to just settle onto the rail and start to go around and around and around following the wall. But when we start to get off of the wall, we see how well our horse is actually responding to our aids. Are they able to go straight um, or are they getting crooked? Does this line end up looking more like this as you ride up? Um, and the quarter lines are a really great way to practice keeping your horse straight. In this book, Stay in the Saddle, I will show you how to combine the patterns like I showed here with many other exercises to really improve your skills as a rider as well as the level of your horse's training. What we do as we go through the sections of this book is there's exercises for warming up, both on and off the horse. There's exercises for um, the rider skill building, and those are organized in beginner, intermediate, or advanced, so you can pick the right one for your level. And then there's also training exercises for your horse, also in beginner, intermediate, or advanced, so it's the right level for your horse. And it's way more than a book because each of the exercises has an accompanying video where I not only demonstrate it, but I'll take you through some of the common troubleshooting. And almost all of these I go through with our school horses here. So you're not gonna see um, it, the perfect example, but instead you have more benefit of actually seeing a horse work through some of these. And how, for example, I you know, make some corrections when they get crooked going down the quarter line, or when our circle ends up being a little lopsided like the one that I drew here. Make sure to catch next week's video because in there, I'm going to take you through an example of how to combine the exercises for the structure of a ride, having a warm up, having your rider skill building, a training exercise like a pattern, and then finishing off the ride. Um, it, I'm gonna take you through that for the common problem of a horse that tends to rush or that leans in or drops their shoulder and the exercises that especially combined can really help both the rider in setting up to be able to support the horse for better balance and also to help the horse as well. So that'll be coming up in next week's video. So there's more information on the book down below and I would love to hear from you. What is a pattern that you find most beneficial in your riding? Put a comment down below, enjoy the ride, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.